Matter of Quilantan, Adjustment of Status, Part 2. Okay, we're going to talk about it. And what is Matter of Quilanta? This is an uncommon way to prove admission, like to prove that you were admitted and inspected for the purpose of adjusting status, okay? It means that entry occurred with procedural regularity, including a wave through. Keyword here, wave through. Okay, we're going to explain in a minute. But before we go into the details of the explanation, please go ahead and like, share, don't forget to comment below and subscribe. And also, if you need a consultation with me, right now is the time to do your consultation because my consultation fees are $175, right? Until December 31st, 2023. Because next year, the consultation is going up. Okay? I'm going to raise the price because it's been three years since I've been on this price and the inflation and all the economy and all that. Okay? So, consultation links in the description box below. Or you can also call. Uh, but still, I'm going to send you the consultation link. Okay? Might as well just go ahead and uh, click the link in the description box. Okay? So, sometimes people... Uh, get in the U.S. by way of uh, the port of entry is by the border and some other people come by airplane, right? And let's start with the people with the airplane when they get at the airport and some people have a uh, document that, that uh, those documents do not belong to them, a passport uh, that they're using by way of fraud because they're using somebody else's passport to get to the U.S., so those type of people, the first scenario is they'll go through the port of entry, show the passport to the uh, U, uh, USCIS or just the immigration officer, and then somehow the immigration officer let them in. But the name of the, on the passport is not them, right? And then when it comes time to adjusting status, how are they going to prove that they enter with inspection? They're going to cite this matter of Qualantin. They're going to tell USCIS that I was waved through, okay? Because even though I use a fraudulent passport, uh, but I was inspected, okay? So that's how they're going to do it. But unfortunately for them, they still have to file with a waiver of grounds of inadmissibility because of misrepresentation using a false or document to get access to the United States by using the form I-601, okay? That's if you really actually uh, go through it. Some people, they go there to the airport, they get arrested. Then they go and apply for asylum. And what's going to happen next too is that, well, if asylum doesn't get granted and later on you, uh, wanna, you get married and based on marrying a U.S. citizen, you want to just start as the same process. You still have to file I-601 misrepresentation because even though you can prove entry with inspection, but with a fraudulent document, you need a waiver and you hope that the waiver get granted, right? So that's the first scenario. Then we go to the second scenario. It's when people uh, come uh, at the border. Maybe they use the bus and uh, the officer waved them through, right? So those type of people really, um, it's, it simply means that you are waved through and enter the US legally, because usually what happened is that not all passengers in the car are inspected. Uh, maybe only the driver showed their document and everybody else, they just like the car gets in, but you have to have a way to prove it um, the way you prove it, you have to have a document, okay? Affidavit of family members uh, supporting what you're telling us. Uh, we see for the bus that you actually pay. Um, photos, um, any type of useful document, okay? And then you can prove that. And when you prove it, you cite this matter of Quilanta and you tell them that entry are cool with procedural regularity because you were inspected. However, they just wave you through, uh, including a wave through. So uh, pretty much they just let the car in, 
but you were in there. So pretty much you were inspected and admitted as far as uh, into is concerned. Um, it's, a, it's a really difficult case uh, to actually prove at the USCIS level or in court. Um, not basically uh, the case to prove, but to use um, in, when you're arguing. So you're going to need a consultation and you're going to need counsel for this one because it's not just as simple as that. Because we have to come up with argument, document to actually make sure that whatever you're telling, we can corroborate that, right? And make a solid argument so that you can prove our uh, entry with inspection. So, again, 202-751-2180. Schedule a consultation and let's help you adjust status. Because uh, next year the consultation is going up. Right now it's... Uh, 175 okay consultation link is in the description box below